Start window. Uh, yes, I have a car that's here. I wanted to get like all the information on it, pick it up if possible, if not get the property out of it. Um, I have my ID on my phone right now. Is that alright? Alright, sadly that caught me off because uh, I had to just do this here. Wanted to know if I wanted a receipt, said yes, and kept on. I don't even know what the value of the car is to pick up. Uh, he literally made my insurance. I was like, I'll need information off the car and all that kind of stuff to even be able to see. Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently uh, I may have turned that off because I may have been recording the whole time, but we are now recording again to make sure. Had a whole conversation, so I had to at least see the car today. They had to contact the owners, all that stuff. But yeah, like I'm definitely not getting insurance today if, um, you know, I can't get the car out. I start a monthly bill for something I don't have. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty cool lens player. You can actually see the different LEDs. interested he said he can see the notes on the account and stuff um, which is probably gonna mean that it's been brought into court and stuff they'll probably have all those notes on the account um, I'm sure that would look really good in court if they actually sat there and installed everything for months <clears throat> with notes on the account saying that they're aware I filed a lawsuit and then they just aren't even responding and I can't get the court to issue a citation and I'm sure people will give me crap about how I paid to come up here and try to pick up the car but can't get a citation issued but if I go here and get the car I can at least try to start making money again right away um, while the courts will still take months to sort stuff out I can on the other and also, if this doesn't work out today, I at least get my property out of the car. Um, make any documentations of damages or <clears throat> distress the vehicle has suffered while it's been in here for three months, if they've taken care of it, if the windows are up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, from there, it also becomes absolutely extra impossible for them to argue it's abandoned or anything. And then I can go and 
use some last bit of money I have to actually get a citation issued. I'm sure they will greatly appreciate all that stuff. I just can't imagine a strong legal backing or defense at this point. Uh, they won't have a signature on a second notice no matter what. Uh, it's probably not going to show any kind of actual delivery receipt on a um, serial thing for it or anything. And all that stuff. So there's that. Um, there is a 24 hour release with the one hour notice. So we're going to see if I wait around here for more than an hour or not. Otherwise, then we're also going to bring up the breach of sign and everything. Alarm active when flashing. So if you're trying to disable the alarm, it lets you know. Actually, the blue tape, I thought there was, because like, there's some weirdly spaced blue tiles, like the other ones have been replaced, blue tape on top of it still, but it didn't come off. Here you go. This is the price that you were asking for. Okay, um, I need a copy of the second notice. Did you say you need a copy of the second notice? Yeah, the second notice. The person who does the second notice, since it's the weekend, she's not available right now. I've been asking for it for three months and it hasn't been available. Uh, I also told her that unless she told me otherwise, I was going to be for twenty two eighty seven because I've been asking for that second notice for three months and she hasn't provided it at any point. So. So that price is not acceptable. So Wednesday, the owner of the company wants to talk to you personally? Then she can come to my house because I can't keep doing this. I've been without work because I lost my job because y'all sold the car and then put the 25th on there as the tow date instead of the 26th. Uh, type, or at least type, no, da, 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 date checked in, 26. Uh, that's different from the paperwork y'all sent me and changes the price which I could have got it out by then also I have 
records of me showing of asking to pick it up and y'all didn't give me a price so I couldn't come pick it up. Y'all wouldn't respond. So anytime after that, you actually can't charge me. Like, it's not legal and y'all would be in illegal possession of the car, actually. It's conversion. Because it's my car, I asked for it. You said no. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll not be picking that up for today. Um, is there any chance I can get a waiver of citation signed by somebody today? No? Nobody has signed it? I can't come back on Wednesday. I can't keep doing this. I don't have money for that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need my property out of the car today. No, you would have to. Uh, no, like if I ask for my property, the law says you have to let me get my property. It's theft after this, like guaranteed. Like that is what it is. It's my property. You can't deny me access to my property inside the car. Like I've read up on the laws and everything. It's that simple. Like let me see the car. No. Yeah, I want to see the car. Like. So the owner, we spoke to the owner on the cell phone. Who's has to obey the law? Like, so it doesn't matter. Like, she can come to my house Wednesday if she wants to talk to me, but I, either way, I'm allowed to get my property out of the car. That's the law. Okay. All right, so let me get my property out of the car. You can, like, take me You have to. It's the law. Like, I will call the police right now. Have them come up here. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to call the police right here and let them, uh, let me get my property out of the car. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, sorry to bother you. Uh, long story short, on the 26th of December, the car was towed. Uh, they didn't call y'all and tell y'all that they had actually uh, towed it or anything. And so I couldn't find it until January 15th when my first notice actually finally showed up. Um, the date on the actual envelope was good. It was the mail, so that's not them. But I never got a second notice. And by then, it was too hard to get into the justice courts and stuff. And I've actually sued them. In a district court, they don't want to answer the lawsuit. And once I brought up that no second notice, they won't give me one or anything, anything like that. And the price is like $2,000 now. I lost my job because of it. And I finally got a stimulus check to come up here and try to get it. And they're like, you'll have to come back Wednesday, even though they knew I was coming up today. Like it was well known. And I was like, okay, I at least want my property. And they won't let me get my property out of the car. And I asked to at least see the car so I could take pictures of it and everything since we are in litigation. So I was hoping you could just Get me back there at least let me get my property out take pictures of the car and i can't guarantee yeah uh the texas towing law said i was supposed to be able to actually get my property out and everything they can't deny me that so I'm, but I'm you're not going to kick doors on them and like go research and everything that's fine but maybe with you here they'll at least go okay i'm not going to be able to afford to just make trips endlessly we're already in from? foreclosure and everything uh down in burleson uh, just north of it. Why did it get towed? <laughs> I don't even know, man. I, I got pulled over. I ran out of gas because my roommate used up all the gas. It's actually like a recovery from being stolen. So like my inspection's out on it and everything at the time. Like, like, yeah. Uh, no. Oh. No. I'll talk you. to you. Okay. Since January 29th when I filed the lawsuit.
She just complained that I can't spell. Apparently whenever you're down to just a cell phone with bad autocorrect, it's somehow horrible. They say anything about why I can't get my property up? Yeah, it's a kind of same deal. Like what you're explaining to me is the ongoing litigation. Um, it's been going on for months. You said it was originally towed as abandoned at the DFW airport. Is that so, the notice thing that you're telling me about? Uh, I got the notice. It didn't say the reason why, but abandoned vehicle enforcement. Okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah, that's, that's what they said. That's, that's fine because I know the law on that and how they actually required to mark the tire and mark 24 hours and the notice says it was towed on the 25th and it was towed on the 26th and so they messed that up they did that so that it would have the 24 hours in there they just had somebody probably see it and grab it and then they probably like pencil whip the documents but that's fine because i can prove that in court i've already submitted the documents to it all those emails and stuff get sent to the court and i've already got a written mandamus in the supreme court on it did she complain about my spelling i think i've done pretty well doing all the legal stuff on my phone since my internet was off like these things are horrible man like Okay. Yeah, but everybody understands yeah. that. But she's over there, like I'm typing it out and like proofreading it or something. Like, I'm over here going click, 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 click. Yeah. Like, like, like you're upset with them. Like, they're upset with you because about them. Have you threatened owner's wife or something? I didn't threaten her any other than I'm going to take you to court. Like, I, and I didn't actually tell her I was going to take her to court because by the time she was talking to me, she was all upset about that. And she went to the B, uh, Better Business Bureau and was screaming about it, like, he's threatening us, he's saying he's going to... I'm like, ma'am, I didn't sue you. Like, that was filed January 29th, and that's when she stopped talking to me. And, like, since she won't talk to me anymore, I've been rude. I won't lie. Like, today I called her a slug. I was like, only slugs live in darkness. Like, why don't you talk to me, lady? Now she's like, come up here and talk to me Wednesday. <laughs> Why don't you just Wednesday, answer the phone? Wednesday. Yeah, um, we'll see if I can make it because I'm going to have to Uber back. Um, since I'm not paying for the car, I will have enough money to finally issue citation, um, which has been locked down. They're supposed to do that for me, but somebody up there has gotten their head that I have to pay at least for the certain stuff. And so that's why I've been stuck. Like, I had to wait for my stimulus to even do that. And don't, that's the whole thing with the bank. Yeah. But all right, I appreciate you coming out and everything. Uh, Hamilton, just in case we need you for the uh, lawsuit. I appreciate it. Thank you.